What's up guys? Today we are installing this BR rev limiter on Andrew's GSR. What's up guys? Alright, so here's all the instructions. They're all in Japanese. So it's going to be a little bit hard to figure it out. But if you look at this here, I believe this is the green wire. This is the yellow wire that goes to the, the ECU. We're going to double check all this stuff. And then the red wire connects the ECU here. We just got to figure out where to connect the ground, whether we should ground it on the ECU or just on a bolt or something. And then there's a white wire in here. And this just goes to a switch to turn the launch control on and off. So we're gonna look through this stuff and figure out exactly what we gotta do. There's also a pamphlet that came with it. Where's the pamphlet? And this thing is sweet. It's got like all good pictures, kind of like of the installation. It's like a little Honda bit- Like ECU. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. They got some weird stuff going on with the wiring. But then it's got like this awesome picture like demonstrating what the ignition cut does, you know, to shoot the flames. And then has some like hilarious like fire. <laughs> it's funny. That's sweet. Yeah. If you look at this part right here, you can see that they put connectors there and there. So that way if you unplug this, you can just plug the power wire back together. Same with this uh, green one right here and this yellow one that goes down here. There's actually two wires going to the plug there. You can't really see. But they just make it so that you could plug these two cables back into each other if you ever wanted to undo this. So we're going to do it the exact same way. All right, so we're taking the ECU out right now. Did that just break or did that come no, out? No, it came out good. Oh, nice. This car, I don't think the ECU has ever been out, and if it has been, it's it was probably like for some dealer maintenance. I don't know why it would have been out, but this was a one owner car, so I don't know. It's like we see a jumper harness. <laughs> you know, like, I'd retract my statement. Oh, no. Yeah, this thing's that was fresh. I don't think that's ever been out, yeah. Yeah, that bolt on there looks minty fresh right there. That ECU, have you ever seen one that clean? I don't think so. Like, where, like, it doesn't have all that corrosion on it? No, they always have corrosion. Dude, that's crazy. I think they just get corroded from people's, like, wet shoes and stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I don't know how this works, man. This is Look different. at that, those green clips. Yeah, it's weird. It looks like you have to push them down. Um, I don't think we actually have to do that yet. I think we can just pull this guy out. It's just caught. I hope. Down here. Yeah. Okay. See? Okay. You might not even have to pull that off. No, I do because we got to get to the stuff. Oh, the it's plugs. under there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We might be able to. There, oh, we, go. there we go. There we go. Oh, it just fell off. That's easy. So guys, this is what an untouched ECU looks like. <laughs> I don't know how untouched it is. What is this? Is that oh. oh, that's factory. No, that looks factory. Yeah. yeah. Very cool though. This is a little weird. It's a little brown wire. Who knows? I mean, it might have been touched, but if it was, it was from the factory. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been touched. There's this yellow wire over here. I think this is the this is the one. I want to say this yellow and green wire. I'm pretty certain that's it. Okay. Okay, let's just unplug all of these. All of it, yeah. I'm still stoked that that ECU is so clean. I know. It's nice, man. How Good old P seventy two. P seventy two. Yep, B tech. 
Okay, so we figured some stuff out. This people just wire to wherever they can ground something. Um, this red wire goes to the uh, the pin on the ECU that gives power, which I'll show you guys. And then these go to the ignition source. And then this white wire, we're just going to wire to a switch. And just we're just going to get this thing working today. We're not actually going to place it where it's going to go permanently. We're just going to get, rather than plugging this into the e-brake cable like most people do, we're going to plug it into a switch. So I'm going to try to explain this. If we look down here and shine the light over here for me. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going nine in from the left on this 32 pin in the center row. And we want to look at it this way. So we're going to go in nine. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just like I thought, it's the yellow wire right there with the green stripe on the side. That's the ignition wire. So that's the one that we have to cut. And then the yellow wire from the BR is going to go to this plug and the green wire is going to go to the wiring harness over here. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. And then over here, the red wire, it goes to the top right wire on this plug, which is that yellow, yellow wire with the black stripe up here in the top right. That's where the power goes. Mm -hmm. And then the, the black wire can just go, we're probably just going to ground it to one of these posts. Mm -hmm. And then that should be good. Alright, so here's the wire that we need to cut. We're going to go like halfway in between the plug and this thing. It's always sketchy cutting ECU wires. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now your car won't run, so... Yep, so we, I'm stranded here. Until we get everything sorted out. But there we go. There, we got the two ends of the wire. Cool. We're going to make it so these wires can plug in together. Okay, so you guys saw that we did this. We did the same thing to the power wire here. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on the BR and get all the wiring good so we can just plug it right into this stuff. So we're actually doing it the same exact way that they do it in the pamphlet, which I will kind of explain. Can you find that? Yeah. Okay, so we have all of these ready to go now. This is just going to plug into our ECU. This is going to ground on one of the uh, on one of the ECU bolts, and then for this white one, we're going to have it go into this switch. This is what we're going to use for our launch control for now. The way that this is set up, I think this has power going through it, and then when it's grounded, that's when it does the launch control. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to test it with a test light. We're going to plug this in really quick. Test it with a test light. And then all we got to do is run. A ground from this switch to the ground and then it's going to work so we just gotta plug all this stuff in the power wire plugs in right here to the mm -hmm. yellow and black and then the other end of the power wire plugs into the other end of the yellow and black like that and then right here we got the green which we figured out goes to the wires like the wire side of the the harness of the harness yeah there you go you got what i'm trying to say yep so we basically did it exactly the same way as the instruction said yep and then we got the yellow side which goes to the plug that goes to the ecu mm -hmm. and then this just has to be grounded which we're that. just going to ground it right here 
Yep, right to where the ECU bolts on. Yep. And then this white wire is gonna go to the switch. Which for now will be right there. Yeah, which will just be down over here. All right. And bolt the ECU back in. Hopefully all this, all these wires fit back in here easily, you know. All right, so we just have a, a switch hooked up to a ground right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip that switch on. And now the launch control is on. Well, it's sort of launch control. So you can't kind of can't see, but what we did was we just raised this up a couple notches, so now it's at 3,500, and we raised the gain up, which is going to increase the speed of what it bounces at. So now he's going to go ahead and rev it again. That's the end of this video. If you want to pick yourself up a BR rev limiter of your own, make sure you check out the link in the description below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Peace out. Okay.